Here I'm introducing you to a new Elcomsoft tool called uh, Cloud Explorer. Uh, it's uh, for Google accounts and the first thing to do once the tool is running we are going to add a new Google account. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly the gmail.com but I do have a gmail.com I'm not gonna show you the email but at the end if yours doesn't end with gmail it just have to be your Google ID it, ha it can be any email you used in there so it doesn't really matter I did save the password so I don't have to save it again and simply sign in and it's just gonna take a moment to download all the data as you can see you can select what you want I'm going to select everything and then download depending on how much information you have in there it might take a uh, few seconds few minutes or even few hours if you have like a lot of images in there or something like that it could happen or if you have really old account but let's just let it finish so the download is complete and now you can access all that data this wasn't much at all it was only five megabytes but it still takes a moment because of the small files and stuff so but let's start from the beginning the calendars I added a test event I don't know why it opened this one specifically oh that's my own one that's why As you can see outcomes of testing I just added a test event just to see but there are some other calendar events I don't know what they are but basically it's going to show you everything there is about the calendar and stuff uh, Chrome, I'm not sure what this is, I don't know why I can't see this it might be the Google um, Chrome Sync I do have it synced but I don't know why it doesn't show so contacts uh, this is some of my, one of my uh, shared accounts so I don't even know who all these people are in here but I'm not gonna show you the names and stuff anyway but well the entire contact list as you can see easy as that then we have dashboard which is pretty interesting for example this is something I didn't uh, even know this shows your phones you have used with your Google account even though I don't even have this phone anymore and as you can see the date was 2013 when I actually logged in with this and last activity was 2015 but anyway as you can see it even shows your IMEI number of the phone it shows the model it shows the manufacturer and it even shows the carrier this is the kind of information that Google actually collects but you can never delete it there is no option to delete this it will remain on the Google account for rest of days then we can go on from here it shows you what kind of platform you're using browsers auth authorized info I don't know what that is <laughs> Uh, Google Chrome free it shows where you have been uh, logging in from and even the providers the internet providers we have profile that's your profile uh, URL and stuff then it shows the search history well obviously <laughs> uh, I did some um, I don't know what online HTTPS checker is I never searched for that I did search for this I did search for this I used all of these I tried to add them but not all of them worked on some reason but well search history that doesn't need any explanation really it also shows you the YouTube uh, history I'm not sure why it's 0% I'm not sure what that is then we have Gmail new sign in from Google Chrome blah 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 conversations holy crap <laughs> recycle bin it's a statistics I can't really read the emails in here uh, that's a Chrome sync, so it's it's here. I don't know what that first one was, but I will leave it in the description if there is something missing, definitely. And the last one, it's G+, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. But let's go back from here, that's the uh, end of the dashboard. So we have history in here. Well, some of it I already showed you, and some of it is in here. I don't know what some of that is, but I did search on the top ones from... Uh, I believe from somewhere point this yeah this one these top ones I did search just to test it the others I have no idea what they are uh, YouTube search uh, history I will cover some of them up because some of them are actually my uh, private videos I was trying to search for so just just to test if it actually shows up or not 
uh, visit the tree history. That's weird. I, I I was searching for this from another account. I don't know how it got onto this account. That's that's very weird. I remember definitely I was logged in from other account. So Google, bad Google. <laughs> I I honestly I searched for this term. I remember that. Well, not exactly this, but something like that. And that was another on another account. I didn't even use it. I don't know how it got there. You to watch history. I have no idea what this all that stuff is there but well here it is you have even the YouTube links as you can see everything and finally that's the mobile data obviously but I don't have a mobile so I can't show you that uh, locations well that explains itself I don't have any location data and I can't really add it because that's probably used on the cell phones I'm not sure it might log your IP location but it didn't so I did try to add it, I enabled the locations, but it still didn't lock it, so. Obviously it shows all the images, I just uploaded some random images in here just to show you. And well, there they are, you can download all of that, as you can see. And you can also export them if you want, all of them, or just select them if you want. You can view them in the tool. Uh, messages, I'm not sure which kind of messages they are, but I don't use any of that, so there's nothing. Google Keep, I did add some of the stuff, but again, it, on some reason, it's not showing it. And finally, we have User Info, which is all your personal details. Of course, I will um, censor it all, because I don't want you to see that. But that's about it, and this tool is extremely good if you want to see the all kind of hidden data that Google actually saves but doesn't show you. And if anything is missing, it will be in the description, so check in the description, there will be links where to get this tool and everything else you need to know, so I will see ya next time.